In today's Clash Royale video, I'm gonna show you the only deck which you ever need in Clash Royale, which is a deck which is so sold to upgrade. It's about this splashy deck. Yes, you got some legendaries with the graveyard and also with the ice twist, but I can tell you guys it's absolutely worth it because this deck is viable for more than three years in Clash Royale. It's absolutely solid. Yes, sometimes we're putting in a Skelly King, the Mighty Rider, but Valkyrie is the most best non champion variation. You could also use Knight instead. We got the Tombstone. Sometimes you're switching out for Goblin Gages. Sometimes you're switching it out for some other buildings like bomb tower but for me right now tombs is the best variation then we got the baby dang the tornado and the bang ball really, really solid deck and also deck which you can use if you have a like under level cast because this deck is so good on defense also of the best mid, mid ladder decks in clash you guys don't want to miss any of these videos in the future make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use creator code more in the shop and i would say let's dive up to the games and i'm going to show you why this deck is so solid to upgrade here we go guys here we are in the first game by the way for sure the next half days will be awesome news so already make sure to activate notification bell because tomorrow's video will be an absolutely insane video for you guys just want to let you know already so because of our queen yeah for sure skelly king pretty like insane the combination with the tombstone but we're playing them off with a play with friendly variation also i mean this adventure of the free cut cycle but valkyrie is just so much better against the skelly king just hope he doesn't play the mother witch version perfect huh. this is what you hate to see to be fair so I'm playing in my um, Beyudang here and this looks like an absolutely horrible matchup. So this is good because I want to show you a horrible matchup. This is most likely one of the worst matches you can face since he has Mana Witch, since he has RG. So this will be hard, right? But we're still trying our best and I still, even if we're not winning this one, I still want to show you how you can beat this one because I think the players you're going to face, they aren't maybe not as, as good as him. This is really important, guys. You always need to decide between having a bad matchup or just uh, your opponent was bad. And this is a deck, this is a matchup which is bad, but this happens. Every single deck has bad matchups. And as long as we're playing well, as long as we're doing everything right, and as long as we learn from mistakes, this is the main key in Clash Royale. So we got the tombstone here. We got the skeletons helping my um, Valkyrie here. I would say I'm just going to go for a Bane Brawl here since I need to play something. And I might just chill here and go in for a Baby Dragon in the back. Okay, let's see. This seems like a good play. I'm going for my Valkyrie here. Let's see. Hopefully my Valkyrie puts in the work we need. Let's go. Yeah, don't, I'm not going to grave it yet. But I think now I'm going to Graveyard because now I have also Tornado in hand. Let's see what he does. He drops this. So we don't even need a Tornado here. And uh, this is what we do. We defend. We do a really good job on defense. And then we are counter bushing. So we're going to get a ton of chip damage on the tower. Like, I'm kind of surprised that he has Skeleton King and g Skelly. So I don't know which variation he exactly plays. But yeah, maybe I should have played also my Tombstone a bit lower. So he goes in with a Fireball. This is fine. I'm going in for a tornado here, killing hopefully everything. Now I'm just going to drop my Valk since I don't want him to get so many skeletons out of that. And also the good thing is right now, my baby dragon still survives. So he goes in. Okay, he plays Balloon. This is for sure better for us. So what I'm going to do right now is just going to play my Ice Wizard here. That it kills opposite lane. So he also has a good defense against us, but he doesn't have that uh, strong of an offense, which is for sure better than having a Royal Giant, which is not easy to defend. So... Playing my Valkyrie like this. Ooh, that's an absolutely insane Valkyrie, guys. Let's go. So, I'm going in now for a graveyard since he used all of his counters, kinda. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna tornado this. Really good tornado. Also, the baby then could splash on top of the tower. I'm gonna go for poison here because all of the skeletons, all of the piggies which get spawned off the skeletons from the mother, which will instantly die. I can go and also have a rainbow just to pressure him a bit more. And. Like, you can't even go in. We're pressuring in really, really well. So right now, I could go in, yes, for sure, for another graveyard here and just space race him. But we're playing safe, right? Um, I'm going to play my tombstone low here since he has Mother Witch. Okay, move for a baby ring here. Okay, now we need to be careful. Mm, ice with it like this. Tombstone like this, just to make sure to reset this for... Um, this purpose here, okay, um, might be like two shots, this is fine. Okay, please kill this, please kill this, thank you very much. And now we're chilling because now I can go in for my brother Valko here. Going for Ice with High. And going for another Graveyard here, this is a good thing. 
Also, I can just go in for preemptive poison here because he needs to go for a Zeppi. So, my Ice Whisk actually cleans everything up. I can just go in for a Tornado here. I'm going for my Barbarian Bowl here. I just need one more shot and we get it. GG's for play beating Madowich with this deck. It's hard, but this is how you need to play. Here we go, guys. See you next game and we're facing a giant first play. I want to stack my Barbarian Bowl here on the right side. Um, because I don't want to play my baby deck too early. But I don't know if it's Sparky or not. So if I go for Ice and Becky drops a Sparky, this is absolutely terrible. So, playing my Ice like this. Poison Spell like that. Okay, I should have most likely Tornado that. But how... How should I know? But this is fine. This is so... Okay for me. I'm going in for Tornado here. Activating King Tower. That was masterful defense. This is what you need to do against Giant Graveyard. You want to get early King Tower activation somehow against the mini packer. Yes, you are taking some damage there, but having a King Tower activation really helps. Even he can still win this one. It's not like a Graver Control deck since he has a bigger tag on the map. And also a secondary win condition, but it helps. And you really want to play passive and you really want to fight the right moment to go in. Since I don't know if he has Arch Queen or Musketeer, both of them get so much value against it. So playing defensive, stacking your troops since he doesn't have a big spell, most likely arrows plus and um, snowball. That's the key in this matchup. Um. Yeah, this is exactly what I said. I'm going for a Baron Ball here. Okay, yeah. Baron Ball plus Poison doesn't kill it. Which is a bit broken, I agree. But we defend it pretty nicely. And we could go in soon. We could so go in soon for Baby Dragon plus um, Graveyard. So I'm just going to go in for my Tombstone like this. Okay. Baby Dragon here. What I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go grave. I don't know if he's enough enough if he has enough for Arch Queen, he does, okay. But he needs to go in for ability, so he goes in for ability. He's actually cleaning up pretty good. We still get some decent damage. I don't know if it was worth it. At least the mini packer didn't get shot on offense before. Okay, so good thing is his queen is out of hand now. If he goes in mini packer in the back, I for sure wanna graveyard him. Yeah, exactly. This is what we're gonna do right now. Gonna go Graveyard, Valkyrie tanks. Nado like this. Oh, what a nice Nado, guys. Because even if it's gonna use ability, I think the Arch Queen will still die. Let's go. And I can just drop another Ice here. I'm also dropping my... Let's go. What a really insanely played um, Barbarian Brawl. And I wanna go in for another Graveyard here. I don't know. I don't really see a reason why I shouldn't do that. Goes for a giant. I'm just gonna go tornado all of that. Because the baby ring plus ice will kill that. I can also drop a poison here on offense just to make sure the archer queen dies. Um, I think it's worth it. And as I said, the activation on, on the king for sure help. Since he also couldn't go like opposite lane. Sometimes when I build up a big push, I'm just gonna go giant grave and then I cannot grave yet. But I cannot do it since we got a really smart and early king tower activation. So bring another baby ring here since I think his um Yeah, this is exactly what we want to do. Um, since this Archer Queen is not back in hand, and now what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go Barbarian Bull here instantly. I just wanna make sure he doesn't have enough for Archer Queen yet. And I can just drop my Tornado here. He needs to go Archer Queen now, but even if he's gonna go drop Archer Queen, it won't be enough. GG's were played. Great win. Here we go, guys. Here we are in the next game. I'm just gonna cycle my Barbarian Bull here. And let's see what he does. So he plays Lock. He plays Valk. It could be Expo. I just don't hope so because Expo is a terrible matchup. Okay. Seems like Lockbait. Hmm. Lockbait Inferno. It's hard to tell like how the matchup is. Lockbait Inferno, I don't really think it's that great since he also has guards. Um back there with Goblin, I would say it's an okay matchup. Um But okay. Going for a tornado plus ice was here since I just want to make sure that we're killing that. But the start was absolutely bad for us. Um I don't know. The question will be how we're gonna come back from this one. I'm just gonna go Tombstone here since he could go Prince at the bridge, but most likely just gonna stack it in the back. Let's see if he does that. He go, goes Valk. That's an okay play to be fair. I'm going for my Valk on opposite lane here. Because if I go Valk, Sandy might walk it dead. Mm. I'm, dropping, I'm dropping my baby drink here. Okay, need to go Poison, I guess. Ah, oh, that's annoying, man. Like, the Inferno is so annoying. Gets so much value. Okay, my baby drink stays alive. Kills the Inferno almost. And we got some poison chip. 
But for sure his next play will be he's just cycling a goblin blood on my tower and we are struggling. Um okay, maybe I should have activated King Tower. Maybe that would have been a play in this situation. Okay, he drops his gun, so he doesn't have guards. He has his cheaper cycle version though, so I was not one percent sure what is better for us. Playing my um troops like this. Maybe doing just like that. That wasn't the best play of all time. Playing my ice wizard like this. Now I'm just gonna go aviate here. The graveyard. I need to go poison like this. We will get some damage. We will get some decent damage, okay? Bring us back in this game. Tombstone low. The bearing bull just like this. And we're just gonna go graveyard here. Because I feel like it. I'm gonna go poison this time on top of um, that. And I think we should get a damage lead here. So great poison get some decent RNG. Okay, go bulk like this. Good bulk. The only problem is which I see is this princess gets some value. I'm gonna go for this here. Okay, I'm still gonna play poison here. He goes for a really early lock. The lock was a bit too early, I guess. So I just hope the Valk doesn't hit. Let's go. You also played an Inferno in poison, so I need to go now for my Valk. Hmm. The three card cycle, I guess, would be helpful in this matchup. I'm going for a tornado here. Okay. Barium bro just like this. Poison spell like that. And it's going to be really even after this one. Okay. Baby dragon. And we need to go in now with a graveyard here. And I don't know if it's enough. It could be really close. Just gonna tornado just like this. Another Isis at the bridge. Um, another Graveyard at the bridge. But I think now he gets the rocket down and he will take the stuff. GT's well played. Really well played. Not an easy matchup. Let's just continue. Here we go, guys. Our opponent's just going to start off with an Inferno Dragon in the back. And we're responding to that with an Ice Wizard in the back, okay? Hmm. I don't know if I can still activate here. Because of the ice wizard bugging, but we actually got it. Like, even flawless. Okay, I need to go poison here instead in, in case he goes in for a freeze. Because I was kind of scared that he goes in for a freeze. And we got the prediction, and this is important, guys. This is why we are playing Clash Royale, because we want to have success. So, we got a decent start since King Tower is activated. Um, we could have also lost the game here, but we didn't. Um, going for my Valk like this, dropping my Baby Ring like this. Hopefully, Baby Ring should hit all of the bats. Great. And I also think about going in for a graveyard here. Hmm. Because I don't know if he's back to... Okay, he goes in for an Inferno Tower. I found uh, Inferno... No, it's a Mega Knight. Ha! <laughs> okay, Ice Wizard. Barbarian Barrel. Okay, still the Barbarian Barrel should tank three shots. But we'll still most likely jump. No, it doesn't. Okay. And I think it might be time to go in for a graveyard because I imagine, could imagine him going in for an Inferno Dragon in the back. Exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. Let's go. So, what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna play my tombstone like this since the tombstone will kite the prince, hopefully. Will kite the Inferno Tower uh, Dragon. And also, would kite the Hawk Rider. That was masterful defense. Going for a perfect tornado here. Also, don't take any damage from the prince. Going for baby dragon prediction on top of his bats. And I need to tell you guys, I absolutely, absolutely, I think this is like my top three games of all plays in my YouTube history. I just knew everything he would do. I was just like reading his mind. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for Barbarian Bull here plus Graveyard. I know it's he, he knows it's it. Like, there's no way. And this is great. We're losing a game. We could have played better. Maybe we did some bad choice in the last game. But right now, we're just jumping. We're coming back with a really, like, I wouldn't say, like, dominant. But it was, like, absolutely dominant win. Okay, I'm going for my Valk here. I'm playing it like this here. Even we get some damage. This is fine. As long as he doesn't like Tom. Go for the Bramble here. This is the better playing situation. Going for a Tornado here in case he goes in for freeze exactly. And now I'm just gonna go for Hawk Rider here. We have three towers there. I'm going for Baby Dragon. And this is a really great win. I hope you guys enjoyed today's one. Make sure to upgrade the stack. It's really, really solid. Graveyard control. You always get damage. It's not the hardest stack to play. So you can tell you guys if you're looking for a deck. Which you want to main up. Also for our next balance changes. Make sure to use this deck. And once I'm out. Thanks for watching. Give a fat thumbs up if this video. If you guys enjoyed this video. Or subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for everyone. Who's using my code Morton in the shop. And once I'm out. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.